Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the third type of variation, which is the joint variation. After the direct and inverse, this will be the third type of variation na kailangan natin pag-aralan. By the way guys, joint variation is an extension of direct variation because we will encounter here three or more quantities that varies directly. And I hope na matutunan nyo yung mismo concept ng joint variation. So what we have here is the statement or example statement of joint variation. We have x varies jointly as x and y. As you can see, we have here three variables, x, y, and z. And this one is translated as this equation. x is equal to k, y, z, where k is the constant of the joint variation or constant of the variation. And by the way, guys, if you will solve for the constant of variation, this is our formula. k is equal to x over y z so without further ado let's do this topic so the first thing that we need to do when it comes to variation is to know or to master how to translate statements into mathematical sentences first we have here p varies jointly as q and r so the question here how are we going to translate this into mathematical sentence um, the three variables are P, Q, and R, where in this P, you will copy P. So, you need to write it as capital letter. P varies jointly as Q and R, and this Q and R is equal to K times Q, R. And this is now the mathematical sentence or the equation equivalent to this statement. P varies jointly, P is equal to, as Q and R, K Q, R. So that's it for number one. Now let's move on with item number two. For number two, we have V varies jointly as L, W, and H. We have four different variables. The first one is V, followed by L, W, and H. Actually, this one is a formula for volume in geometry. So let's translate this one in mathematical sentence. Copy V, then equal to your constant K, then write L, W, H. So what we have now is V is equal to K, L, W, H. This is the equivalent equation or sentence of this statement. Let's move on with item number three. The electrical voltage V varies jointly as the current I and the resistance R. So we have the three variables, V, I, and R. So to translate this into mathematical sentence, let's start with the first letter or the variable V that is equal to your K times I and R. Since V, I, and R are written in uh, uppercase or in as a big letter, you need to write it as a big letter in this mathematical sentence. Or else, it is different from the statement. Okay? So, we are done with this formula. A simple definition of joint variation. And we also translated uh, these statements into mathematical sentence. Now, let's put some practice on different examples of joint variation. So, I believe it's in direction... Solve for the constant k, then find the missing value. Here's the given statement. We have single statement, then we will solve a and b. z varies jointly as x and y. And z is equal to 60 when x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 6. Now, a lot of students are confused when they encounter this kind of statement kasi ang complex niya. So again, I will remind you to chop chop the problem or the statement. First, ito muna. Z varies jointly as X and Y. Lagyan nyo na slash dito, it will be the separation. Ang magiging purpose kasi nito, this first statement, Z varies jointly as X and Y, this will give you 
the main form uh, uh the general formula for the joint variation. So translate natin eh. So ba natin pwedeng ilagay z varies jointly. So I will copy z is equal to k varies jointly ah, as x and y. Z is equal to k x and y. Ganyan lang ang sulat yan. Nakuha. Ito na mismo yung, main, uh, yung general formula natin for this statement. Ngayon, so what about this next, ano, this next statement? Look at this. And z is equal to 60 when x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 6. As you can see, all of the variables have uh, its given value. Punta nyo dito. Z, x, y meron siyang value. Yung k lang ang wala. Meaning, you will use the second statement to find the constant of variation. So, um, gamitin ko lang to space na to to solve for the constant of variation. Okay. To solve for the constant of variation, gagawin lang dito is this. I'm gonna use another paper. Maybe another paper. Let me use another paper, guys. Para hindi kayo maguluhan. Okay. I'm using, I will use another paper. So, we have the general formula. Z is equal to K, X, and Y. In the second statement, your Z is equal to 60. Your X is equal to 5. Your Y is equal to 6. What you need to do to find the constant, plug in or substitute all these values in this given formula. We have Z, which is 60. Is equal to your K. Then your X is 5 times 5. Then your y is 6 times 6. Simplify. You have 60 is equal to 5 times 6 is 30 times k. That is 30 k. And to finally solve for the constant, divide both sides by 30 and 30. Cancel, cancel. Your k now is equal to 2. This is the constant of variation. So let me write here. Your k is 2. Now, since you already determined the value of k, what you need to do now is to substitute this constant here para makuha niyo yung equation na gagamitin natin within the problems. So that will be z is equal to 6. Ah, sorry. Correction. z is equal to... 2 x y dito ren z is equal to 2 x y so let's try and so at again ah uh, they are the same because they, they came from the sentence i think gagamitin natin to solve a and b so let's try letter a find z when x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 6 so z ang pinapanap Z is equal to 2 times your X, which is 7, times your Y, which is 6. So now, simplify lang natin to. 7 times 6 is 42, times 2, that is 84. This is now the value of Z. So again, recap lang tayo. After getting the value of K, Substitute natin yung constant sa ating general formula and it became z is equal to 2xy. Tapos, to solve for a, ang pinapanap kasi ano, so solve letter a, pinapanap kasi si letter z, plug in lang natin to using this general formula and it will give you 84. So let's continue. Here, what's missing is x. Plug in natin yung z sa kay y. z is equal to 72 is equal to 2 x and then your y times 4 so 2 times 4 is 8 to become 8x is equal to 72 to solve for x divide both sides by 8 divide by 8 cancel cancel your x is equal to 72 over 8 that is equal to 9 this is now the value of our x as simple as that what you need to do here is dapat marunong kayo mag substitute as well as manipulating the equations. So again guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads.
again, it's me, Chergon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!